resource is Pastor Dan. You know what? I'm in the student center today. I went to a completely different place. I'm not in the preschool wing this week. I'm here with a big kids meet. You know why I'm here? Because I want to look out the window and spy. We're talking about I spy. You know what? What am I looking out out my window? I'm seeing the school. You know what inside the school is teachers and students. And when I look out the window, when school gets out, they all come out and I can spy different kinds of people. Some are, pe are tall, some are short, some are boys, some are girls. Even some people are different religions, different cultures, and even different colors. But you know what's amazing is God made all of them in his image. He loves every single one of them. But you know what? Some people don't know that. Some people don't know Jesus in their heart. So today we're going to talk about I spy not just things, but people. Who are the people that we can see in our world that need to know Jesus? That's where our special story is about. Ollie and his friends are going to tell us a story about a guy named Peter and a guy he meets named Cornelius. Cornelius was a completely different culture than Peter. And Peter was kind of afraid to talk to him. But God gave him the courage and the strength to talk to Cornelius about Jesus. So why don't we get ready to join Ollie and his friends in the clubhouse and hear this special story, and then I will see you right afterwards, and we'll talk all about it. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Oh, hello friends and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and my friend Poppy left us some secret words to find. All I have to do is paint this page, see? I think there's a secret word on here somewhere. Let's keep painting. Do you spy the secret word? I spy with my little eye the word hello. That's how you say hi in English. Can you turn to your neighbor and say hello? Hello to all of you. Should we do another one? I'm gonna try blue this time. Do you spy the new secret word? I spy with my little eye the word hola. That's hello in Spanish. Can you say hola with me? Hola. Now turn to your neighbor and say hola. Yes, I love it. You just said hello in two different languages. Wow. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hola, Lucy. Who? Who? Telling each other hello, are you? Poppy left us these fun different ways to greet each other. Saying hello is fun. Who? Who? But there's so much more to tell others, too. So let's hear the story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> They're my Tell All the World Cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about how we can tell the whole world about Jesus. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today we are going to play I Spy to find a man named Peter. Do you see him? Get out your pretend binoculars. Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye. Peter! 
Peter was a fisherman. That means he would get in a boat and go out on a lake to catch fish. Peter believed in Jesus because Peter saw that Jesus is alive with his very own eyes. Jesus told Peter and his other friends that he would come back again. But until then, he wanted them to tell everyone that Jesus is alive. And he wants to be their friends forever. Then he left and went to heaven. Jesus' friends did just what he told them to do. They told everyone everywhere Jesus is alive. He wants to be your friend forever. One day, some men who were different than Peter came and knocked on his door. Knock with me. Ready? Knock, knock, knock. They asked Peter to come to their house and tell all their friends about Jesus. Peter knew that Jesus loves everyone, no matter what they look like or what language they speak or where they live or what they have done. So Peter said he would go to their house even though they were different than him. Do you see someone that Peter can tell about Jesus? Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye someone Peter can tell about Jesus. Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, even though they were different than him. Peter told them about the amazing things that Jesus did. He told them about how Jesus died and came back and is alive. He told them he knows Jesus is alive because he talked with Jesus and even ate food with him. After Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too because everyone can believe in Jesus. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive, and we can tell everyone about it, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Oh, oh. Wow, Peter got to tell everyone that Jesus is alive because everyone can believe in Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I love that we can tell everyone about Jesus, no matter how they say hello. Let's see if Poppy left us more words to spy. See you later, bye. Hey, welcome back preschoolers. Did you enjoy our story? That was such a great story. I love the story of Peter and Cornelius because it's a story about people who are different. Did we learn that today? That even though Cornelius was different, Peter was still willing to go and be his friend and share with him about Jesus. Who are people in your life that are different? Do you have someone in your neighborhood, in your school, maybe somebody around you you see that is a little bit different than you? But you know what? No matter what, they still need to know about Jesus. And that's the opportunity you have. Just like Peter in the story, he went to Cornelius and his family and shared about Jesus. The last couple weeks, we have been work focusing on this idea of I spy, looking around our world. What I want you to do this week is look around your world, not at things, but for people. We have a special craft for you today so that you and your mommy and daddy, maybe your big brother, big sister, can work on it this week. You get to color pictures of different places that you can spy people that might need to know about Jesus. What I would love for you to do is color those pictures, put them somewhere in your house, and think about the places that you go every single day or every single week that you can talk to people about Jesus. It's just a smile, a wave, asking them if they have Jesus in their heart. You know what? People love to talk to you and they love to hear what you have to say. When you share with them about Jesus, they'll be happy to know what you have to say. So you know what? Be brave like Peter this week and talk to others about Jesus. 
We're so happy that you've been joining us. You know what? We have a special song to wrap up our time this morning. So once you get back up, get all those wiggles out, get ready to dance and sing because we are about to worship God one more time before we say goodbye. All right, here we go.